Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you B trees and B plus trees. In my previous video, I've already talked about what a B tree is, and we did a very small example of a B tree of order three. This time, I'm going to create a B tree of order five. And then once this is done, I will also explain to you B plus tree, which is a variation of a B tree. So let's begin. What you see here are the letters that I'm going to insert in a B tree of order five. Because B tree is not just created with IDs or numbers, it is it can be created for anything like department names. So in that case, you would work with alphabets and try to arrange them in ascending order of alphabets. But remember not to uh, start from the beginning and arrange all these letters in ascending order. That would create a different type of a B tree. And we do not try to sort this and then try to create a B tree because if you do that, then it's just going to end up in the wrong type of a structure. Because when somebody inserts something into an SQL table, they might at the most try to keep the ID sorted, but they would definitely not keep the names sorted while inserting. So you have to be prepared for any type of uh, alphabetical order. And that's why we are creating a B tree with letters. So let's begin. First, we are trying to insert the first four letters because it's a B tree of order five. I can have maximum uh, four keys in one node and that node can have maximum five children. So because four keys are allowed, I'm going to go a little bit faster and just insert all four and put them in ascending order. So I'm inserting A, B, uh, F and G and they're all in ascending order. Next, I want to insert K. To insert K, I'll, I will have to put it next to G, but as you can see, there is no space. Putting K next to G will um, cause this node to split up. And so we take F to the top level and put on the right hand side of F, A and B, and on the, uh, on the left hand side of F, A and B, and on the right hand side of F, G and K. Next, we are going to insert D. So when we want to insert D, D we know is uh, less than F, and that's why D is going to come to the left of f d is also greater than b so it can be inserted uh, next to b we can insert h uh, on the right hand side of f directly uh, put it in ascending order next to g m also can be inserted on the right hand side of f put it in ascending order next to k and that's how it is inserted Next, we are inserting J. When we are inserting J, once again, we have the same problem that the node is full. The node now has five keys and we are only allowed to insert four. So we are going to split it up. And the node that falls, the key that falls right in the middle is J after putting it in ascending order. So J is what I will take to the root node. And on the left of J, there will be G and H. On the right of J, there will be K and M. Next, let's insert E, S, I, and R. This is straightforward without any uh, changes. So to insert E, I just have to go to the left of F and put it next to D. To insert S, I simply have to go to the right of J because S is greater than J and then put it next to R in ascending order. Then to insert I, I have to go to the, uh, I have to go somewhere between F and J, so to the right of F, left of J. And to insert I, I just have to put it next to H in ascending order. And finally, to insert R, I have to go to the right of J and place it between M and S because it's ascending order. Now, after this much, I'm going to insert X. To insert X, I have to uh, go to the right side of J. And on the right side of J, I have to put X next to S. 
which in this case is not possible because it makes the node uh, to have more than um, four children, sorry, four keys. And so I have to take one of the keys to the root, which uh, for which I'm going to pick R because that's in the middle. So R goes to the top, left of R has K and M, left of uh, right of R has S and X, and the rest of the tree uh, pretty much take cares, uh, takes care of itself. Now, next we have C. So to insert C, I have to go to the left of F, and once again, there's no space, but C, if it could be inserted, it would come between B and D. Now I have to pick a node, pick a key to go upwards, which would be C, because C is the key uh, that's in the middle. So if I take C up, this is what my tree would look like. Uh, you cannot see, but uh, on the left side of C, there is A and B. On the right side of C, there is uh, D, E, and the rest of the tree, uh, as usual, takes care of itself. Next, we want to insert T and uh, we want to insert L, N, T, U. And uh, once again, I'm not going to explain much now. You pretty much uh, understand what the process is by now. So to insert L, it will be between J and R. So I'm inserting it there. N can be inserted once again between J and R, it is inserted. T will go uh, on the right of R, so it is inserted there. U will also go on the right side of R, it is inserted. And finally, the last one we want to insert is P. And to insert P, we have to put it between J and R. After N, again, there's no space, which means I have to pick one key to go up which will be M. So putting M up does not really help. Let me show you once again, because the node on top, which is the root node is also filled by none. So if you take M upwards, then uh, you would be placing it between J and R, which means the node that is in the middle is J. So J will become the root node now. And on the left of J, there are C and F, on the right of J, there are M and R, and the rest of the tree takes care of itself. So this is what your tree will look like after inserting all those alphabets I showed you earlier. Now let's see what deletion would look like in your tree. So I want to delete E from right here in my leaf node, which is very simple, and I can do, I can delete E from here. So after removing E, there is only one uh, key on the left hand side of D. So in this case, you can borrow from the neighbor. The neighbor of this is FHI, which was on the other side, GHI. Let me show you again. So there was GHI here. From there, we uh, moved F to the left hand side of D and moved G to the top, as you can see. Uh, the reason why we did not uh, put F on the top is because uh, the reason why we did not keep F on the top and move G to next to D is because uh, then we violate the property of the B tree, wherein on the left side, all smaller nodes have to be there. And G is uh, larger than F, so we cannot do that. So we have to move F and put G on the top, and that's as simple as it is. Now, if I want to delete F, then you cannot borrow from neighbor. So I have deleted F from here next to D, but I cannot borrow from neighbor because if I do that, then there are no longer two keys present in that node. And that again violates the property of a B tree. So I cannot borrow this time. That means you have to combine the nodes to the two nodes and then push the problem up by one level. So I have combined the two nodes, which were uh, D and HI. To combine them, I also have to combine G with them. So I'm going to make it as D, G, H, I. And now you push the problem upwards. Now you can see that C, uh, the node with C has only one key. C, it does not have two. 
So once again, the thing that I can do is, and I, I also cannot borrow because if I borrow from the right hand side, then there will be only one key left on the right. So I have to only combine. So once again, I'm going to combine, which means what you see here, C and R, they will all be combined with J and they will form one level. So it becomes C, J, M, R. That's how you can uh, perform the lesion in a B tree. And now we are going to see, uh, and, and this is this is the B tree. Now you can uh, you can observe how this B tree looks. This B tree is now decreasing in size. So when it decreases, is it it goes on decreasing uh, levels one by one as as you go on deleting nodes. And uh, I suppose by now this has given you a very good understanding of a B tree. So we can proceed to a B plus tree. So let's see what a B plus tree looks like. So a B plus tree is an interesting variant of a B tree, which brings up the notion of maintaining all data in the leaf nodes. And since we've already studied a B tree, uh, it will be easier for you to understand B plus tree, which is just some variation in B tree and uh, the main goal of a B plus tree is to have all the data stored within the leaf nodes of the tree. So let's just create an example. Uh, let's take an example and create a B plus tree of order four. And these are the values that I'm going to insert. So first I'm inserting one and because it's an order four tree, I can store maximum three keys in one node and that means that node can have maximum um, four children. So this is one node where I'm inserting one. And now after that, the next thing I want to insert is three and five. So I'm inserting three and five directly and three and five are inserted as you can see. Next, I want to insert uh, seven. So in order to insert seven, there is a problem which is that um, that there is no space in the topmost node. And that's why we have to insert seven. Uh, we have to increase one level. And to do that, just like a B tree, we are going to pick the node that we want to use to uh, take it up. And we want to take, let's, uh, there are one, three, five, and seven together. So we can either pick three or we can pick five to go to the top level and um, if you pick three that means you are trying to pick the left node and if you pick five then it means you're trying to pick the right node it, whatever decision you make at this point that should be followed even afterwards so if you are taking five and then you are take, uh, picking it up to the root node so if you take five up uh, a, a level up then in the bottom, you're going to maintain a copy of five because it's a B plus tree. This is a var the variation that we talked about earlier. So I'm going to keep five in the bottom also in the leaf nodes. It's a copy, every, every node that is on the uh, levels above the leaf nodes, they all should have one copy in the leaf node. So that's why I've kept five. Next, let's insert nine. Uh, that's fairly simple. You can just uh, insert it next to seven. Now, next we are going to insert two. To insert two, um, I can move three and insert two because it has to be sorted and there is space and two is less than five. So it goes on the left-hand side and it can be easily inserted. The next thing I want to insert is four. So to insert four, uh, I can, uh, I need space on the left hand side of five, but it's already filled, which means one of the keys will have to go uh, to the top level. And because I have four keys, one, two, three, and four, I have to pick one. The last time I picked the one on the right side. So this time also I need to pick the one on the right side, which is three. So three is taken to the top level and the nodes which are there below are just uh, readjusted. The next thing we have is six. 
So for six, we are going to place uh, it on the right hand side of uh, five. But once again, there is no space over there. So it's going to be five, six, seven, and nine. And in order to place it there, I need to take one of the nodes to the top. And at this point, if I take one of the nodes to the top, then it would be uh, six going because it is five, six, seven, nine, it would be seven going to the top. So seven goes to the top, but once again, the copy of seven is maintained in the leaf nodes uh, on the right hand side of seven. So right hand side of seven still has seven along with nine and left side of seven has five and six. And that's how we have inserted into this. Next, we want to insert eight. To insert eight, uh, we need to go to the left hand side of seven and there is space. So that's fairly simple. We can just put eight over there. And next, we want to insert 10. So to insert 10, we have to go to the right hand side of seven, but there is no space in that node. So I need to take some key uh, to the top level, which would be nine. And once I take nine to the top level, there is no space for nine over there either. So next I need to select which key from there to take to the top level and that would be seven. So I will take seven to the top level and on the left side of seven, there will be three and five. On the right side of seven, there will be nine. And then on the for nine on the left side, there will be seven uh, and eight. And on the right side, there will be nine and 10 because we need to maintain the copy of nine. And the rest of the tree is just uh, readjusted in the same manner. And now you can see that my um, leaf nodes contain all the keys. There were totally 10 keys available and all 10 keys are present in the leaf nodes. So what you have here is a tree that is full, uh, fully uh, a B plus tree with all the nodes present in the leaf nodes.